Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Tui. Today I'm going to talk about some more uh, types of HTML5 and I'm going to open my notepad here. Uh, then today I'm going to talk about a new tag which was introduced in the HTML5 that is nothing but a Ruby tag. Ruby tag. What is meant by Ruby tag in, in the sense, uh, the Ruby tag is mainly used for the, uh, is, it was uh, given like a pronunciation to some of the letters. I mean like uh, if you want to know about the Japanese language or the Chinese language, whatever the languages that you want to know, we want to know the soundings of it, right? Uh, a small text that was uh, written upon the uh, bigger main text, I mean we are going to write the capital A and how it's going to pronounce uh, that we're going to give the phonic uh, phonic or anything phonetics or anything the soundings upon that it is nothing but the ruby tag i'm going to show you how it's going to work the ruby tag is also uh, having uh, answer stats as are you by ruby with an angular braces and it's going to be ends with slash or you by as usual as an ending tag and in between this ruby tag we are this ruby tag is going to be followed with the two another tags in it called the rp tag and rt tag what is mean by the rp tag and the rt tag is nothing but if you want to display some of the content in the i mean i want to display some chinese language and on upon it I want to display some uh, phonic uh, phonetical soundings on it then that displaying of phonetical soundings meaningful soundings which we want to give to it is to be in between the RT tag and um, RP tag is going to be uh, just uh, the look uh, how you want to look it upon it or outside of it on these things then I'm going to show you a, lit a small example regarding this A uh, RP and this I'm going to show you slash RP I'm going to end uh, RP tag is also having the ending tag as slash RP and I'm going to show one thing for my A phonetic sound as I'll show as just small A as usual uh, I'm not having any uh, Chinese languages or anything to display for you guys but it is useful for any some other languages which one I feel I want uh, using the Telugu have the pronunciation of the Telugu will be going to display here and this will be gets closed okay slash RP that's it and if you uh, in this manner we'll see uh, the We'll see how it's going to be the output and I'm copying this again and I'll show it another example as um, what are we going to write it here then uh, Z okay C Z um, the phonetic sound as C okay well I mean I'm just giving you an example I'm not particular about it will be having this sound itself I'm just showing you how, how it's going to be look that's it and I'm going to show you another um, tag which is called the text area tag i mean if you want to give some text area for our web pages uh, where we can give some content in it how can we give it is by using the input tag i already said you but i'm uh, again uh, stressing you about this uh, input tag and input tag we are having the two many uh, many attributes for it uh, I'm gonna introduce uh, some of the attributes I already said to you about the two attributes that is type and the value and now I'm giving the type as a text type and we are having the, the another one as the value I'm giving the value as uh, one two three four five whatever that is and if you want my uh, text area I mean my text box should be displayed in this much size and this much maximum length should be there and all the some of the constraints should be there somebody for somebody so uh, for that we are having the two more attributes like size that is pi or anything whatever you want and uh, for that the maximum length should be this much and all these things uh, if you give some constraints maximum there are many attributes for this i'm giving only some of the attributes uh, which is uh, easily get understood by you and this is about the input tag and uh, I'm gonna tell you another type of tag for you uh, called the uh, uh, 
another goal i mean uh, as, okay okay let me tell you one more uh, attribute within this input tag that is um, we are uh, we are talking about the type value size maximum length and all this right and if you if i want to give um, uh, some more i mean like uh, password for my input a text area i mean in the in the text box how will you give it uh, the password should not be uh, seen by any other right uh, because it is uh, it is not a uh, shown figure so uh, for this in the input tag itself we are having the another type of attribute uh, 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 we are have we can give i mean if we are here we are giving the type as text right we can give the type as password itself if we give the type as button or if we can give the type as submit if we can give the type as submit and all this it will work and i am giving the type as password then from this we can see uh, we can um, uh, we can give the password to this uh, the password the letters whatever you want to enter in the text box will be get uh, will does not disclose to anybody it will look like um, how it will look uh, like stars right your all known stars that are going to run, or dots whatever you want i'm going to save this and i'm going to see how it's going to look okay guys i'm going to open my chrome and i'm going to reload it again see uh, i'll use i'll use the break here then you'll get to be understand well um okay i'll give a break here Mm, okay and i'll give break here also see guys just understood here i'm uh, using the ruby tag and also i'm using this input text tag um, which is going to give only uh, text area i mean text box and, and below this i'm using the password type as a password so whatever the content we entered in that text area doesn't disclose to anybody i mean that isn't shown to anybody uh, see our features is going to be work or not okay i'm gonna reload it again Ooh, what happened mm -mm. did i saved it okay break okay i saved it but uh what else okay okay guys so let me tell you here that um uh i'm gonna zoom this I said to you right ruby tag uh, if you want to give something like chinese language or any language that you want we doesn't even know how they are going to write and we doesn't even know how to pronounce them for that a purpose they are introduced a new tag called the ruby tag which is consists of the two follow-up tags within it it is rp and rt tag rp and rt tag within it um the, uh, what uh, we want to display as a phonetic sound walls in between the rt tag itself uh, okay uh, here I given as Y as a phonetic sign as uh, sign as Y, and for Z I given as um, sounding a small text area as C, so it displayed here. And uh, for the next, um, I have given this um, text box area. Here I am going to display this text box area, and I'm going to write here blah 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 thing. Okay, guys, and uh, why this was stopped here? I'm typing it again and again. But it was stopped here. What? Why? What is the cause? I have given only the maximum length as three. Uh, uh, I mean, maximum length as three as one of the attribute within this um, input tag. Did you see? I hope you observed it. Uh, so, uh, so if you given the maximum length as three or four, that much amount of uh, characters are going to be displayed. And I'm going to give some numbers. There will it will uh, there it will stop there itself, and in the next uh, input uh, button I have given the attribute type as password. So I'm giving here my password. See, I'm giving the password, but it's going to be display as dots. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.